Okay, so let's get stuck into installing these Eurovision windows by Aussie Traveller. They're available in uh, quite a few different sizes. Uh, they're double glazed and also come with a blind ensemble. Uh, there's actually three pieces to the window. You've got the, uh, the outer frame which contains the window, an inner frame and of course the blind ensemble. When you unpack a Eurovision window from the carton you'll find that the inner frame is screwed to the outer frame containing the window. They're screwed together with the smaller screws on the left so what you need to do is separate the inner frame from the outer frame. You discard the smaller screws and the window comes with a set of longer screws that we'll use to assemble the window to your Styromax panel. You also need to locate some screws that come with the windows as well, which is used to attach the blind ensemble. Alright, so we'll just install this window into the CNC cut window cavity. Um, you can do this on your own. Uh, it's always advisable to have someone on the outside of the just hold the window, but if that person is not available, this is how you do it. So just some long strips of masking tape. That'll just uh, hold the window in position while we screw off the, the uh, inner frame. Okay, so here's the Eurovision window from the inside, without the uh, inner frame attached. So we'll install this inner All frame. Alright, so let's install this uh, inner frame. One thing so of importance uh, when installing this uh, inner frame is just to ensure that uh, these two inner sheet metal brackets are facing up. That'll be of importance later on when we install the blind ensemble. So you just take one of the uh, M4 by 20 mil screws and uh, through the hole you screw the inner frame to the outer frame. A uh, good tip here is to use a uh, screwdriver with a magnetic tip. Just carefully work your way around the inner frame. Uh, we suggest using a uh, pan screwdriver uh, rather than a cordless as uh, you get a better feel for what you're doing. You don't want to open find these screws unnecessarily. Okay, so the inner frame is now secured to the outer frame, so just go around uh, the inner frame and just ensure that it's securely attached to the outer frame and there's no gaps and that uh, you put a screw in each of the screw holes. You now you will end up with uh, two extra screws in the pack as spares. Okay, so let's uh, install this blind ensemble. Now earlier I mentioned that when you're installing this inner frame is to ensure that these sheet metal brackets are facing upright. Uh, that's because they will locate into the extrusion of the back of the blind ensemble. Okay, so carefully open the bottom cover panel and the top cover panel. Okay, so we'll position the back of the blind ensemble over these two sheet metal tabs. Okay, now the blind ensemble is uh, hooked over the inner frame. We'll just centralise the blind ensemble to the inner frame now like so. Just make sure it's level on both sides. Take one of the uh, self-tapping screws that's provided with the blind ensemble and you screw the blind ensemble to the inside of the composite panel like so. you don't over tighten the screw. You repeat this four times. Two in the bottom, 
and two in the top. The great blind ensemble debate is this, is that the block out blind can come from above and go down. Now this setup is like probably 99% of households in Australia. Now in the RV community, a lot like the uh, block out blinds who come from below and go up. Now the reason for this is that uh, having it set up this way is that you can still look out the window while the bottom half of you is, uh, well, covered. So that may be too much information for some, but um, that's the story. But these blind ensembles, uh, you can reverse them, so you can mount them either with the block out blind coming from above going down, or the block out blind coming from below going up. Okay, so let's look at the operation of a Eurovision window and blind ensemble. The blind ensemble is an easy affair. This one is set up with the block out blind coming from below. So as you can see, I slide effortlessly. Now to release, you just push the tab to release and you can move the two independently. To open any Eurovision window, simply push the grey button and rotate the handles. Gently push the window out and listen for the clicks from the struts. These clicks are positions where the window will rest. 300mm high windows have two positions where they will open. Windows that are higher than this have three positions where they will open. To close any Eurovision window, gently push the window forward a little and this will allow the struts to release and for the window to close. All Eurovision windows have a semi-lock and a fully lock position built in. To lock any Eurovision window in the semi-lock position, simply rotate the handles until they lock within the centre of the window locking tab. So as you can see in this position, the window is left slightly ajar, allowing for some uh, body ventilation. It is not recommended to have windows like this for travelling. To fully close a Eurovision window, gently pull the window towards you, turn the handle and ensure that it falls in behind the window locking tab. So each time you operate these little handles you'll hear a click And that's the little grey button 
popping out and your handle is locked. Okay, so now that's done, simply close your lockout blind and screen together, position them wherever you want them, and there you have it. How to install and how to operate a Eurovision window within your Styromax panel.